Hello all, again, welcome you in the next tutorial in the lesson based on Python. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about a method that we called as, uh, like in last class, we have learned about sorting. In this class, we have learned about indexing in Python with pandas so uh, what is indexing indexing is actually uh, you have a complete data set okay now i want a particular information only like i want to trace a particular information out of the data so what do i use so there are some methods uh there are you know uh we have to uh, take out the information from rows from columns uh, to a data frame, right? So how to do that? How to um, uh, call a specific row? How to call a specific column? So for this, uh, this method actually helpful. We called it indexing method. So in indexing method, we use different things like one method that we have where data frame dot uh, uh, square brackets we use. Like if I'll share my dashboard, if I'll share my whiteboard actually. So I'll let you know. Here uh, you have like one method where, uh, you know, it's kind of only data frame dot uh, square brackets will be there. Uh, like I'll note on this, see data frame dot square brackets. Then there is second method. Uh, which is data frame dot loc square brackets okay so this is the second method where we use this thing now what is the difference between data frame dot square brackets so this is actually um, this function is known as the indexing operator okay like if you want to call a specific number of uh, column so you can simply write data frame dot uh, whatever like dot square packets and whatever your column name is suppose i have a list of age name and uh, remarks and lots of things i have in a list so i can directly call it by name call it by age kind of now data frame dot loc it is used for labels okay like uh, you can call a row or a column by its name so i will let you know i will explain you each of the method and the third method is data frame dot i l o c this is also one of the method that you are going to learn in this tutorial so i will stop sharing my screen and uh, i'm sharing my screen to explain you more about it So I'm sharing my screen. I think the screen is visible for all of you. As you all know, we need to open REPL.it. So I will write REPL.it and it's open here. Here you will click on create REPL and you'll go with the Python. And here I will write indexing and I will create REPL. So your REPL is done. Now, what next? The next thing is we will be writing down the code here. So as I have explained to you already that uh, the first part of code uh, we are going to use is data frame dot square brackets. Okay. And I will track the information, the data frame. So actually I have my CSV file. You can... Uh, uh, make your CSV file. I told you how to create your CSV file. You can take the data, paste it uh, in a spreadsheet and convert it into the CSV file. So I have one CSV file. I will upload that CSV file here. So let me upload this first. So my CSV file name is nba2.csv. Now, if I open my CSV file, I can see there is a name, team, number, position, age, height, weight, 
college salary so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine columns i have and these all are the rows okay now if i go to my file and uh, i will be writing down the code like first of all you need to import your library definitely so you will write import pandas as pd after that you will write like um, i will create uh, my data so uh, like from the csv file i will take out the data right so i will simply write data dot like pd dot read i need to read csv uh, read csv is a function you know to read the file now i will write nba to dot csv you will write here your csv file name here don't copy my csv file name please do write your csv file name otherwise it will be a big trouble trouble for you now you will write index all is equals to name what i'm defining here I am defining my index means I want that the index means the rows uh, that come over here should be the names. Okay, whatever the names are, the names will come as a row. That's what I define here. Now I will retrieve the data. So I will give the specific data that I need to retrieve. So I will write first equals to data square brackets as i told you data and square brackets and here i will write about age i need to retrieve age and i will print my variable that i have made here so i will write first over here okay now if i run this code let's see what happens so i run it and as you can see here it is showing me the names as i index as I told you as a row and here it's showing me the age. Now I can also retrieve multiple data over here. So for retrieving the multiple data in line number three, instead of age, I can add college and I can add salary. make sure it should be inside the double quotation symbol and there should be this bracket because that was the functional bracket and now you're making a list of data so definitely you will enclose it with double uh, square brackets now if i run it okay let me check what's wrong with this so age college and salary is my data let me check again okay wait okay i got the uh, bug actually the c is a small in line number three this is capital as in the data if you see the data the c is capital for college okay that's why it's coming like that now if i run this So it works, right? Uh, now the same way, actually it's giving me three columns now, age, college, salary. Before that it was only one, that's age. Now let's come to the another method. Um, so I'll just tell you the another method. So now uh, the next is that I'm going to explain you is about the data frame by using uh, .loc square brackets actually this data frame is like uh, the previous one only like uh, the index bracket uh, one only but uh, in this like uh, you can do you can simultaneously select the subsets of rows and columns all together so i will explain you the program uh, where you will select the row uh, using dot loc function and uh, we will put the single row label uh, in a dot loc function so let me start writing down the program here 
the first line is absolutely fine the second line is also absolutely fine like i need to read that and here uh, at place of first data instead of data i will write data dot loc because this thing uh, we are going to use and uh, here because I'm going to use the row and in the row there is a name. Okay, so I can see the first name in my data sheet is this. So I will write this as a first name. Every Bradley. Okay, so like this first row, I'm selecting it like this and uh, there will be no another brackets will come so this is my first row that i want now i will make another variable as second so i'm making a variable second and uh, it's it, it's actually like that only so i will write data dot loc and here i will write another name uh uh, like another row that I want. So which row I want? I want a particular row. I can take any name. I will select RJ1. So I will select RJ Hunter. Okay. So I have selected these two names and now I will write uh, like it will tell me the first row, whatever the row is. And then I will create some space like this. And then it will tell me the second one. I think it's done. Now, if I run this and let's see what the output we'll get. Okay, RJ Hunter is the wrong way of writing this. I think R j hunter i think this j is okay after j there is a dot let's run this yeah that's absolutely fine as you all can see over here that it's showing me every bradley and this every bradley age height weight call it salary means it's giving me the data of the particular uh, person okay and here rj hunter data i have so i have the number position age height weight call it salary every data of rj hunter i'm getting here every data of every bradley i'm getting here with this command so with dot loc uh, indexing the function uh, we will get the data like this way now I will tell you much like some more examples also. So uh, if you wish to select, uh, you know, uh, multiple rows, uh, then uh, we put all the row label in the list and pass that to dot loc function. Let's see the example. I am just giving you the example. So here everything is absolutely fine now what i'm going to do is that uh, i want multiple rows to be created so i don't want this first and second variable should be like that i simply want this name this rj hunter i'll just control x uh, i'm pressing and uh, i want this to be separated and i'll press control v uh, to paste it and uh, of course you know that this bracket you need to take if you are doing the multiple selections i don't want the second value to be print here and uh, i'm giving simply a result as first because there is only first value now okay i think this is done yeah if i run this command see this is the result here we have only two rows it's coming like that that rb badly and this 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 so this is actually the data it the data is actually not coming in this particular line so that's why it's coming like that okay now if i do this then it will be coming like that so this is your output actually how it looks like okay so uh 
these are some example of indexing and please please keep on practicing do search more on internet and uh, it's really a good way to improve your practice because i can explain you some examples some things but uh, the more you will get is uh, by practice only now if you wish to select two rows three columns then what you will do in this case so in this case here it says the data like this is two rows and two rows are done okay now you will put a comma and you will start writing the new data in the new um, square brackets and here i want to uh, print team and then i want to print numbers and uh, then i want to print position okay so this i want okay so this is two rows and three columns and i want the data like this so you will print it like this like uh, the number of rows you will print like this in one uh, square brackets then you will separate them with a comma here and then uh, you will take the another square brackets and you will write columns over there and you can call your variable here okay if i run this code and let's see the output oh it's giving me the error the error is the position uh the position yes it should be capital P, that's why. Now, if I run this, so I got the result like this way. See, here I have a name, I have two rows, I have three columns, team, number, position. As you all can see, team, number, position, these are three columns and there are two rows. It's very easy to learn there is nothing to learn about uh, you know uh, data data sets data frames actually it's very easy if you do the practice and if you take interest in this in this particular part so everyone i hope you like this video and let's wait for the another video keep watching and keep learning thank you so much bye bye